in precisely what sense can Aleister Crowley's philosophy of Thelema be considered Gnostic? Finding an answer to this question will help to clarify the hermeneutical coordinates of modern theurgy's relationship to its ancient antecedents. To begin with, Juan Culliano, uh, author of the Tree of Gnosis, scholar of Gnosticism, emphasizes that the term Gnosticism does not refer to a specific religious movement of late antiquity. It is always an outside or retroactive category of description, often deployed by hostile critics. There are no Gnostics. There are only Manichaeans, Cathars, Valentinian Christians, and so forth. Nevertheless, this designation remains useful for modern scholars because it identifies a set of family resemblances linking particular determinate religious movements and myths with larger specifiable themes and concepts within the larger cultural dialogue of antique Western religions. A useful way to frame the question of Thelema's relationship to Gnosticism is therefore to search for what specific family resemblances the two have in common and in the process, identify uh, what resemblances they do not have in common. For example, Radical dualism, often expressed as anti-cosmism, is a primary criterion for the identification of Gnostic thought, according to Culliano. However, Thelema is not anti-cosmic, quite the opposite, in fact. The Book of the Law states that existence is pure joy, chapter 2, verse 9. Therefore, its substantive family resemblance to Gnosticism must lie on another front. Culliano writes about the radical, what he calls revolutionary quality of the Gnostic worldview in contrast with Judeo-Christian and Platonic Orthodox regarding, quote, the superiority of humanity over the ecosystem to which it belongs, unquote. As a result, again, quote, the special dignity of humanity stems not from its obedience, but from its opposition to the world. Therefore, Gnostic doctrine, Culliano claims, achieves an excessive anthropological optimism, unquote. It is in this specific sense of radical anthropological optimism that Thelemic theurgy can be said to be Gnostic. It is correspondingly antinomian, opposing liberated human desire to the regulated natural order of society. Ye are against the people, O my chosen, chapter 2, verse 25. Book of the Law declares. Thelema is also sharply anti-Platonic in its emphasis on the ecstasy of the body. Chapter 2, verse 22. Lust, enjoy all things of sense and rapture. Fear not that any god shall deny thee for this. It is on this Gnostic terrain that Thelema's modern version of theurgy can be understood as breaking with traditional Neoplatonism and radically opposing itself to any philosophy that either naturalizes the immediately given social order or denies the spiritual value of the body's pleasures.